Hi guys, welcome to Fictional Crafts. Renee here. And this is going to be my 2024 reading intentions video. So, it's just a side the thunderstorm here. <laughs> what do you do? What do you do? Anyway, so if you're coming over from my old channel, you know I recently did a What's on My TBR video. Um, that's now down. You can't see it. I'm going to go through my TBR again. Okay. So you can skip that bit if you want. But after this, after that, um, I want to discuss sort of what, what I'm intending to do this year when it comes to reading. So I've got my little, I've got my notebook. And uh, oh, geez, sorry, I'm still unwell. Um, so what I, the main things I want to do over the next twelve months is I want to read one new release per month and one indie book per month. So I am I've been doing a challenge uh, to read a hundred independently published books science fiction adult genre and I think I'm up to like book five <laughs> so I will is it three o'clock already <laughs> our, vac our vacuum goes off at 3 p.m every day JJ, it's okay, baby. The weather is wild. Absolutely wild. JJ, come here. Come on, Poppet. Come here. Come give mummy cuddle. Come on. You're okay. Oh, mum. <laughs> My big baby. Don't hit the mic. There we go. Anyway. <laughs> uh, where was it? So, um... Yeah, so I want to read. I want to read one new release and one indie book a month. So I want to at least have my TB, on my TBR. Okay, so what I'm planning on doing is I'm planning on setting up my TBR with about three to five books every month, and and reading those. And once I've finished reading those, I can read. What is going on? Got the car alarm going off. Jesus Christ. Oh, for fuck's sake. Anyway. And then I want to get my TBR shelf down to one series that I haven't read yet and three to five books. So, like, obviously, the accumulation of reading down um, and then to the point where I can be purchasing books that are net new, that are new to me, I'm excited about. I'm, I'm excited to read. Um, I'm getting better at picking books that I am interested in reading. And one huge thing I've discovered in my um, lots of ums, sorry. Uh, one of the main things I've discovered in the last 12 months when I've been reading down my TBR list is that a lot of the books I bought with huge intentions to read within a month or two of buying them. I enjoyed but I was a bit over by the time I got to them because I was reading them maybe even two years after I bought them so I want to get my TBR list down so that I can be reading closer to purchasing and I think that's um, going to really help me with just keeping up to date with more excited stuff um, the weather's just not with me today <laughs> So, okay, so start off with my current read at the moment is I'm currently reading The Dark Forest by uh, Six and Lou, Six and Lou, and I won't lie, I hit a bit that I'm struggling with. Um, I don't mind spoils, being a spoil, um, but technically wise, if I can pick up a spoiler, just based on the way the book is written, I have trouble with it. And I'm, 
129 pages into this book and I've been introduced to the person that defeats the bad guy in a 500 and then the sequel, which is Chunky Monkey, 700 page book. So, say 400. So, I've got another 1,200 pages to go and I already know the guy who's going to make the winning hand. And I honestly just don't know if I'm enjoying the themes and the ideas enough to go through that. Now, I do have these on audiobook. So, I am planning on... They're chunky monkeys. Um... I am planning on um, listening and then reading, and that you, I can usually chow out a, a 500 page book in a couple of days when I do that. The only problem is, is there's no chapters in this. <laughs> so there's parts. Uh, so there's like a, like a part, right? And then there's no, yeah, there is chapters, sorry. But when you, the audiobook's not really chaptered. It's really strange. Hang on, maybe I just missed a chapter. Anyway, I've got I to gotta catch the audiobook up to where I am in this and then I can make a decision, you know, then I can just sort of listen at two times speed. I, two times speed is fine by me. Um, I don't get the nuance that the narrator is giving me, but I understand what's going on. And um, when it's a book I'm not 100% enjoying, it's fine. It's not a big deal. Anyway, so that's my current read and my intentional read. Now, that is my series for January. That is my intended series for January. Two very chunky books. And this weather, this weather's crazy. It's the middle of summer and we normally have storms in summer but it's just been insane anyway so what i'll do is i'll go through my other series that i have which i will be reading over the next few months so i have the entire witcher series now this is just one of the books this is the sort season of storms i think this is the prequel um i have all of them in this in this version um, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I will get to it eventually. I, I started reading it. I have, um, I read through the first series of short stories, The um, the Last Wish, and I enjoyed it. Uh, I enjoyed it enough to go and buy the rest of the books. Uh, I just haven't gotten around to reading them. Jesus, this weather. I've got to go catch up the front door. It's hailing. It is actually hailing. And the hailstones are decent size. It's... Okay. I'm very... Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Second series... Third series I have that I want to read this year is the Before the Coffee Gets Cold series. As mentioned before, I have oh, the other four books ready to go um and then the last sort of ser series i have in novel format is uh the earth sea the books of the earth sea by ursula Le Guin. um this is a beautiful edition um there's some beautiful pictures in here um i believe it's all of all of the books from the Earth Sea. Um, I originally intended to sit down and read this with my kids, but they're not old enough yet. Uh, but I will read the series myself first, anyway. Um, and the last series I have, which I really want to get to reading next week, I am home on holidays. I have. 
a few days where I am home on my own, where my husband is either at work or on night shift, so he's asleep. And two or three of those days are the start of next week. I'm sick at the moment, so I can't do it this week. But what I want to do is I want to do a full reading vlog of Berserk. Now, I started reading Berserk last year. Uh, I got up to volume eight of the deluxe editions. And I decided to stop because I wanted to do a very in-depth review. And I think the best way for me to do that is to do a reading vlog and me reviewing parts as I'm reading it. Because there's some things in here that I, I love this series, but I really want to discuss some things in here that I know I will forget. So I'm hoping to do that next week. Don't hold me to it. Got to see if this cold disappears first. Okay, so the other books I currently have on my, uh, let me just sort them out a little bit. Okay, I actually don't have much stuff on my list at the moment, but these are books that have been sitting in my TBR. Most of them, all of them were bought in 2023. Now that is awesome. That is awesome news. Okay, but some of them are older than 2023, but they were bought in 2023. So the sci-fis that I have that I want to get around to reading is I have The Wind-Up Girl by Paleo Balagud. Oh, gee, oh God, I still can't get it right. I'm just, I have to laugh because I listen to it and listen to it on how to say it. And it just goes in one ear and out the other. I just, I cannot get it right. Yes, JJ, I know. Big scary storm. Come here. Don't do that. Come here. Get off mummy's book, please. Yes, I know it's in your way. Come on, you want to come here? Come on, come sit on my lap. Yes. Yes, I know. Big scary storm. Big scary storm. Would you like to, would you like to issue a protest to the nature gods? Eh? Anyway, I own this book on audio and I just, I've tried to listen to it two or three times and I just cannot get it in my head and I think I need to read it I think I need to like take the time and physically read it so I saw this in a, a second-hand store I picked it up I think it was like two dollars um, I definitely want to read this book uh, this was a Hugo winner I think from memory I know it was I know it was nominated I do know it was nominated anyway so yes that is on my TBR at the moment um, and then another one which I only picked up like a month or two ago uh, is Dmitry Gorvosky's uh, Metro 2033. And I've just heard a lot about this book over the years and I believe it started out as a free on the web um, novel. And uh, yeah, I just interested in reading it. So um, got that one as well. And then the last sci, like last uh, traditionally published sci-fi, I should say, that I have is uh, Snow Crash by Neil Stevenson. Um, now this is a cyberpunk. What's the word? Spoof? No, not spoof. Um, it was so. Uh, yeah, yeah it, it, it was, yeah, anyway, <sighs> brain, anyway, but yeah, Snow Crash is a classic cyberpunk book um, that I do believe was originally written to be a bit of a joke, <laughs> so I'm interested in reading it. Um, I don't know if joke is the right word there, <sighs> I'm sure you understand what I'm trying to say here. So... I only have, so although my series is heavily fantasy, I've only got one standalone, and that's The Sons of Darkness uh, by Gaurav Mahanti. 
and it's a beautiful book absolutely beautiful book can't wait to read this i did start reading it last year and i ended up putting it down um just wasn't in the mood for it at the time um but what i did read i was enjoying so another book to go and then i will go through my self pubs and then i'll do my more modern literature i think uh so the self pubs i've only got two self pubs at the moment or indie pubs um, i've got them at moto rift by uh, bradley lejeune and i believe the third book the mcmurdo war was just released uh, a couple of days ago so i really want to read this and if i enjoy it i'm going to get the next two books um but that is definitely on my list to get reading soon and the other book that i have in my indie range at the moment is that sean crow's uh quenched in blood which is the not quite a sequel but a follow-on novel from the uh little novella by hell of steel then the last pile i have is sort of my literature oh hello jj are you okay there Oh, no, actually, I've got a second poll. I've got non-fiction. <laughs> if I keep age in Iceland. Um, I'm a bit half fixated on Vikings at the moment, um, researching them for my own books. Uh, and so I'm just picking up whatever books I can find. Uh, Jesse, Jesse Biok, JJ, please don't do that, is... Um, actually wrote the uh, language books that I got uh, so I could start JJ please read start using some of the um, Nordic language in my works and uh, yeah fucking age in Iceland now four more books That's actually not that many books JJ come on stop moving that you're on my trolley you're on my little trolley that I keep all of my crafts and stuff on and someone has decided that it's the perfect cheek rubbing spot isn't it JJ okay so uh this next book is the only book I bought new in December and that is even if this love disappears tonight by Mizaki Ichigo Ichigo um now I saw Emmy reading it um, on her channel and she really enjoyed it and I just thought well it's a little book it's Japanese translated I mean I haven't gone wrong with them yet so give it a go so this was my Christmas Eve book so every year on Christmas Eve we all get a book each um, and this was mine and then another book got a couple of, weeks, couple of months ago um, is the Kamawaja Food Detectives by Hishashi Kasawai Kas uh, but yes Japanese cat on the cover can't go wrong can I so uh, this one is about this one is quite cute this is uh, it's a restaurant where they sort of as food detectives they like recreate your the fat your favorite dish um so yeah it just sounds like a little cozy fun read and then another book that i saw emmy i don't know if she read it or she just got it and it really sort of spiked my interest so i grabbed a copy of it uh the wolf in the whale and uh by Jord jordana max brodsky and uh yeah it's just I believe it's got a little bit of uh, uh, sort of was it Canadian the Canadian natives I, I'm not sure about what they like to be called um, and meeting up with Vikings so why not and the last book of my TBR is uh, the first book in what's going to be a marathon is my Hir Hirokami Haraku <sighs> Mirakami's 
Hear the Wind Sing and Pinball. It's 1973. The first two books that he released. And what I plan on doing is reading through, eventually reading through his entire backlog because I've been a huge fan of his After Dark for a long time. And I just want to go through and read them all. So yeah, that is my entire collection, TPR collection. So what's that? That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Hang on. I'm not counting all the berserks there, am I? So there's 18, there's 14 berserks. Two, four, six. There's eight witches. So that's 22 books. Then there is. Thirty eight books in total. That's gone down. Because I think when I did this video on my other channel, I still had about 45 books. And I haven't been reading a lot lately. So, yeah, I'm impressed. Anyway, so that is 38 books on my physical TBR. So now what are we going to do? So when it comes to months, what I plan on doing is setting up a TBR every month that includes a series. So... The series might have five books, it might have two books. I might be reading the series like I am now with The Dark Forest and only have one and a bit books to go. Um, so it's just going to be a series that I'm going to be reading and focusing on. And then I want to have one independent, one independently published book. Um, and I think this, we, this time around I'm going to go for The McMurdo Rift. I just feel like I want a little bit of space adventure. And I also want to know if I want to get the other two books because if I want to get them, I want to grab them now uh, because obviously when the book is first released, that is the critical time to get it into people's algorithms so I can help that author out. Then I also want to get a new book and read a new book of each month. Now, I already have um, of the book on order. It's uh, Ray Nyla's new book uh the tusks of extinction i think it's called um i'll put a picture up and uh that is coming so that fulfills those sorts of three things that i want to have on my list and then i just want to start getting through this backlog so i'm planning on reading berserk i'm not going to put that on any official tbr because i want that to be like a vlog in itself um but I am in the mood for something a bit. I like to have about five books. So the series I count as one and then I'll have like four books. So I've got two already. Um, so that's three. So I've got the series. I've got the Murder Riff. I've got the Tusks of Extinction. I need to pick two more books. And I don't know what I want to read. So how about we go for... I've been very excited to get into this one, The Wolf and the Whale. So let's pick that one. And something small. She says something small and then she's looking at the non-fiction she has. Nah, let's do The Food Detectives. That's a nice short one. Um, so I now officially have for January's reading, I have the series, uh, the Three Body Problem series. I then have The Tusks of Extinction by Ray Nyla, which is due out mid this month. But it is only a short book. So I believe it's a novella. So hopefully. And then I have The Wolf in the Whale, The McMurdo Rift, and the Kamawa, Kamawa, Kamogawa Food Detectives. I think that's a good set. 
So that's my plan for these this year is to sort of pick my pick my monthly books. If I get through them, I'll just grab another book. But as it is, they're my goal. They're my sort of books to read. I'm going to keep them in my cart and uh, choose from them as I need. Anyway, thank you for joining me. I hope to see you in the next video. Stay well, stay safe. Cuddle your kitty cat if he's getting scared from thunder. Hey, JJ. Yeah. And uh, I shall see you soon. Bye.